Hi guys, it's me Jackson, and y'all have been begging for a hype team video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to design and print a hype chain on your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. So first you're going to go to svgcreator.com, scroll down, and then click drop your image here. And then you're, here you're going to select your logo. I'm going to do this one right here. Click, click the logo and then click open. And as you can see, this doesn't look the best. So we're going to adjust the threshold. Raise this up until it gets how you want it. Like right there. Once you're happy with it, look around and then click download SVG. So next you're going to go to tinkercad.com. Create 3 design. And then you're going to make the snap grid point. I mean, 1 one sixty fourth. Then you're going to bring in this thing. And, you click, and then you're going to click import, choose file. And now it should be the top one right here. Click it and then click open. Then you're going to make it art to make the width 170. Click enter, import. And here it is. So now we're going to up the quality to max. And make it 0.37 thick. And then now you're going to click Control C, Control V to make a copy of it. This one, we're going to make 0.3 thick. And then the fill mode, we're going to make a silhouette. And then we're going to copy and paste it. Bring this to the side. And then we're going to make the fill mode the outer line. And then the line width. 0.25, enter. Then the, the height is going to also be 0.3. And then so once that loads, you're going to select all of them. Click this button right here to align them. I'm going to click this one and then click that one. And then as you can see, there are some holes right here. So now we're going to grab this box, make it 0.3 thick. And then drag it so we can fill those holes. So there's one right there. And then there's one right here. And then one right there. And then there's one tiny one over there. So we're gonna also fill that one. Then once all the holes are filled, you're gonna select all of it and then you're going to click group and then once it groups you're going to click export as a stl and then next You're going to go to this Makeboard link, and I'm going to put this in the description. And then you're going to click Open in Memo Studio. And then once this opens, you're going to go over here and click this little orange visa button next to the um, standard quality, which should fix everything. Then now you're going to select the ring bow plate, drag these over to the side. And then you're going to import. And it should be the top one. Right there. And as you can see, it doesn't fit. So what we're going to do is select it. And then click this rotate button. And then we're going to rotate it to the one right there. And so now it can fit on our bill plate. And then next, we're going to get the colors right. So we're going to make this a white. We need a green, 
a gray, and also a light blue. So we're gonna select blue, we'll make it lighter. And again, you can make this any color you want, but these are just the colors that I'm gonna do for this one. Next, I'm gonna hit this color painting button. And then from here, you can just color your object. So for me, I'm gonna color, I'm gonna do the layer painting. Then color the grid there. And then I'm gonna select the fill option and color this bolt, lightning bolt right there. Color this with the fill. And again, you can color this whatever you want. And then I'm also gonna make this try thing right here. Select, select, select. I'm gonna make this green. And we're gonna look on the top. Over there. On the R. And then the team, we're gonna make this blue. And then get all the sides. Some on the E. So that. Color this. And then once you're happy with it, you want to click return. And then now, this is an important step. You're going to take one of these rings. And then since I twisted, turn this, we're going to hit this button and rotate it like that. And then we're going to slowly bring it in like that. And then you're going to hold down shift on the keyboard and then select these. And then you're going to right click on it and then click merge. And so now they should be merged. And then you can just put this ring somewhere on your build plate. I'm going to put it right here in the corner. And then you can make these change whatever color you want. We print about 30 of them. So you would print this build plate twice. But, and then so we're going to click slash plate. And then we're going to print it, and I'll see y'all when it's done.